Hey there, it's Barry Thornton again, the uh, Vinyl Monkey Audio Guru and the guy with Austin Audio Works. I always have to put a plug in for myself. Uh, got a very interesting question uh, from uh, Trevor Simmons, and he says, Hey, Audio Guru, why do people think vinyl sounds so much better, he puts that in quotes, than other mediums? Well, that answer is pretty straightforward and simple. A vinyl record contains more data than a, than a tape or a CD or generally any other kinds of music that you're going to get until you get into a professional tape recorder <coughs> something that uh, runs at 15 ips and uh, inches per second and has a lot or more and has lots of channels and lots of white tape and very special expensive tape other than that a vinyl record contains more data the pleasant illusion of audio, the thing we're looking for, the quote, eargasm, um, that response is the result of getting more information. As you listen more to audio, as you listen more to hi-fi, you wind up uh, having, uh, you wind up needing more information all the time. You get used to it and then uh, you want more. It's kind of insatiable. It's, I won't say it's like a drug. Okay, I won't say it's like a drug. But it is very, very addictive and very seductive. So your vinyl record sounds better simply because there's more information on it, more information that gives the ear clues as to what's going on in the outside world that carries the image of the outside. And we call that a soundscape into the head and lets your mind in, uh, figure out what's going on and what it's supposed to be and, and how to deal with it in a much easier way. So it's real simple, just more data. And yeah, I know it surprises everybody when you say, gosh, we thought digital was everything. Well, guess what? It's not. There's another thing that goes on, kind of a secondary thing that goes, when they had to reduce the amount of data, that is the digital guys, when the digital guys have to convert something into a digital format, they have to throw away information. They do this because they have to create sampling windows. Now, there's a bunch of neat math and Nyquist concepts, information theory from Bell Labs, 1500 years ago that <coughs> all explain ways to get around this but there are always ways around it uh, it the problem is still fundamentally there and the problem is that when you chop the audio up into little pieces so that you can digitize it even though you're claiming you're doing this beyond the Nyquist frequency and all the math says it shouldn't be that way you hear the difference your brain and your ear are a fantastic set of killing devices. Together they perceive a reality we can't yet even get an instrumentation or machinery to come close to doing. So there the answer is simple. It's a better medium. It stores more data and it has less inherent new added information. Let's call it added information distortion for the time being. So uh, that's it. Trevor, thank you very much. Um, see you guys later. Bye-bye.